When I first looked into drone surveying, I nearly made the same mistake that stops most drone businesses from ever making money. YouTube told me to buy the best drone, the biggest LiDAR and the most expensive software before I even landed a single job. I almost spent over 15,000 pounds on gear that looked great on paper but wouldn't help me get clients. What I learned since after helping dozens of drone startups is this. Most of the gear, you just don't need it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the five things you actually need to build a profitable drone surveying business and what to skip no matter what YouTube says. Many newcomers think the secret to a profitable drone business is buying the biggest, flashiest drones they can find. They assume an expensive drone does 90% of the work, but in reality, that's different. The drone is just one part of the bigger workflow, contributing maybe 40 to 50% of the best. Yes, drones have important sensors like camera, GNSS receiver, barometer, and IMU. A larger sensor and a mechanical shutter lets you fly higher and faster, while a better GNSS with RTK capability reduces the number of ground control points. But here's the thing. You don't need to start with the best drone on the market. My first drone was a DJI Mini 2, just 400 pounds, a basic consumer drawing without RTK. Yet, I made thousands of pounds with it, flying slower, lower, and using plenty of GCPs for accuracy. And because it was uh, under 250 grams, I could fly legally in urban areas with this. Think about it like this, if a plumber charge you extra simply because he used more expensive tools, you'll find that ridiculous. Your client feels the same way. Most won't know or care what drone do you fly. They pay you for accurate, usable survey data, no flashy equipment. If you're starting uh, buy a good use drone like a Mini 2, Mini 3 Pro, Air 2S or Mavic 2 Pro, these drones do a solid job, hold their value and help you generate the revenue needed for future upgrades. For flight planning software, you have affordable options like MavPilot Pro, Lychee or DroneLink. Just ensure you have the correct controller, N1 or N2 for compatibility. Of course, if budget allows upgrading to an enterprise drone makes sense, just make sure you have enough cash left for the other essentials, like a capable computer. Drone files are huge and they demand serious processing power. The quicker your computer can handle data, the faster you can deliver the data to your clients and earn money. At absolute minimum, you will need a Windows laptop, Intel i7 processor, 16 gig of RAM, dedicated graphic cards like a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 or higher. I strongly recommend going behind the minimum. Investing in a powerful machine now can help significantly speed up your workflow and save you hours or even days of processing time. Why Windows over Mac? It's simple. 90% of the photogrammetry software is built for Windows, giving you access to more affordable or even free options. Once your machine is ready to handle large data set, the next critical tool is uh, your processing software. This is where you will transform aerial photos into accurate 3D models, ortho mosaics, and usable survey data. Software options range widely from completely free up to $8,000 per year. I will cover the detailed pros and cons of each in the future, so definitely subscribe if you want to save yourself costly trial and error. If you are using macOS, your ideal options shrinks down to Pix4D and Adjusoft Metashape, which cost between $3,500 and $6,500, but these are perpetual licenses, so at least you own them outright. On Windows, you have plenty of powerful budget-friendly choices like Reality Capture and WebODM, which are free, DJI Terra, which is a mid-range robot software, Pix4D Mapper and Adjusoft Metashape, which are professional but cozy. Be cautious of cloud-only services like Drone Deploy. They can be overpriced and limit your processing control. 
Whatever software you choose, remember, high quality ground control points or GCPs survey using a proper GNSS receiver are critical to making it all work accurately. A very common misconception is that if you use a RTK drone, you don't really need ground control points or GCPs. While RTK drones definitely help with positioning, relying solely on the RTK is still risky. You need at least a few GCPs to guarantee accuracy. Of course, fewer GCPs are needed with RTK drones compared with the regular drones, but you still need a reliable GNSS rover to accurately survey these points. If you're looking for a budget-friendly GNSS receiver, two popular options stand up, the DJI DRTK3 and the Emily Rich RS3. Both can serve as a base station for your drone also, but which one do I recommend? While the DJI RTK3 is cheaper, I heard frequent complaints about small usability issues. Many beginners find it confusing and cumbersome. The Emily Rich RS3, on the other hand, is user-friendly, versatile, and professionally robust. It integrates smoothly with almost any drone, and it's the one I personally trust and recommend. You can check some of my videos if you want to find more details, and remember, if buying is an option yet, you can always rent. That's exactly what I did when I first started my business and it allowed me to deliver professional grade accuracy without draining my budget. So now you've got accurate drone images, a powerful computer to process them and precise GCPs thanks to your GNSS rover. But here's the thing, raw data isn't what clients pay for. They need clean, readable drawings and maps they can actually use on site. That's where the final piece of your setup comes in. A software to turn your process data into professional deliverables. Let's be honest, clients don't care about your point clouds or ortho mosaics. They care about usable outputs like topographical drawings, DXF files, PDF with contour lines, and things they can actually build from and submit to engineers. This is the part where the most drone pilots fall short. They can fly the drone, collect the data, even process it, but then deliver a folder full of files the client doesn't know what to do with. To avoid that, you need data editing or CAD software that helps you take your process outputs and turn them into proper deliverables. That could be something like uh, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, BricsCAD, Virtual Surveyor, and QGIS that can help you turn your data into usable survey drawings. Which one you choose? It all depends on your project needs, but there are plenty of solid, affordable options available. You don't need to become a CAD expert overnight, but you do need to understand how to take the outputs from your photogrammetry software and package them in a way that's useful to your client. This is where the real value is created. Flying a drone and clicking process isn't enough. You will get paid when you deliver something that makes the client's job easier. So now you've got the gear, the software, the workflow to deliver professional results. That's great, but here's the truth. None of this matter if you don't know who you're serving or how to find them. The most overlooked part of building a drone surveying business isn't the tech, it's finding the niche where your skills can solve a real problem and knowing how to get in front of the people who actually need the problem solved. And if you're still wondering what actually matters in drone surveying beyond the gear, make sure you watch this video next.